Hi, I'm Christine Heber. And I'm Melissa Sinclair. And we are here to present to you the Hopewell Valley's fourth period TV programming class project. In our program today, we'll have some solos by a few band members, Bert Tyron's Christmas Quartet, and some projects done by the students in our TV programming class. Well, why don't we look at, take a look at our Christmas Quartet playing Away in the Manger and Deck the Halls. Sounds good to me. Good. That was really good. It makes me feel in the Christmas spirit again. If you think they were good, you should see the soccer project done by Melissa Nelson, Christine Huber, Spencer Robertson, Jeff Sauner, John Moran, and Beth Stiers. I think it's a, it's a team sport that requires uh, a together effort. Uh, when you have one single person that's outstanding, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have a good team. It creates, it, it, it needs to create a lot of things happening between people. They have to rely on each other. Uh, they have to do things for each other. And they have to be extremely unselfish. And I think that's probably the secret to playing the game is, is unselfishness. That's probably the most difficult thing to get across to kids, to be unselfish. Right? The pace of the game, definitely the pace of the game. It's fast moving, there's lots of action, very few stoppages in play, unlike baseball and football. Every day before a game, since we're undefeated, we, um, we've been going to ground round, it's kind of like a psych, and you know, we get the same thing every time, and we get, you know, just get prepared for a game, and, and uh, you know, and we just prepare mentally in our minds, and when it's game time, we, uh, we perform well. I think friends are more important to have out on the sidelines because they support you more and you feel more at home. But then it's also good to have your family out there to give you more support and family support when you go home. Well, we're 14 and 1, and I think only once before have we been, have we had a record this good. I think it's tough, it's tough to be a keeper. It takes a special breed of person to be a keeper. You have to, uh, you have to have no fear. You have to be willing to dive in all situations. And um, we had no keeper at the beginning of the season. 
we, uh, we had two people platooning it and one person volunteered to do it full time. And it is, it's a real hard job. Ready? Uh, yeah, um, our practices are basically, you know, we have off light days and we have conditioning days. Conditioning, we, we run a lot to get in shape. And I mean, our conditioning is fairly, fairly well right now, but we need to work on it a lot and just work all around. It's just, I mean, they're refs and they get taught to be refs, but you know, all the calls that they make, you always have an objection to. Cool. Soccer game is not one the day of a game. A soccer game is one the week of practice. And however you practice with those kids, that's what's going to happen because once you turn them loose on the field, you're, you're, you're helpless. You have no control over them. Uh, you can't tell them what to do. And I, quite frankly, have, have kind of backed off a little bit. And I used to be very vociferous. I'd talk a lot and yell a lot. And I, I try to calm down a little bit and, and, and try to do whatever involvement uh, with the game in subbing. You know, I, I sub somebody and tell them what I want hap to, to happen when they go in and when the, when the other kid comes out I explain to him what we need to happen. But in terms of actual involvement in a soccer game, your uh, coach is very limited, uh, very limited to w what you can do. Watch out. <laughs> We're going to get you. That was some very interesting footage. It's nice knowing Hopewell's soccer team did so well this year. That must be nice for our senior soccer players to remember. Yeah. Okay, now here's one of our soloists, Vicki Hart, playing Sonata in F minor on the bassoon. <laughs> Thank you, Vicki, for a job well done. Did you know that Vicki is a member of the Central Jersey Region Band? Really? That's great. Next, we have a project done by Christina Redding, Courtney Kane, Jamie Mangus, Fran Basil, Melissa Sinclair, and Andrew Morello on marketing education. When you, when you think of co-op as far as marketing is concerned, what that means simply is that students work half a day and go to school half a day, and they receive credits and pay to do that. So most of our students, that are on the co-op program are in their senior year and what they do is they usually work until five, uh, 12 o'clock or fifth period and after their day of school is over they go out to work in a marketing occupation and again that is for credit and it is for pay so for the entire program for the class and for the work they receive 15 credits and they also get a paycheck every week and they're learning about a marketing career we have a variety of different jobs that students are placed on well right now I have approximately 23 students on the co-op program. Some of the jobs include Princeton Mortgage, which is right across the street from the school, Prestige Associates, which is a um, production manufacturer uh, of packaging in Trenton. We have a couple students working at Italian People's Bakery. We have a student or two working at Pennington Market, Sarah's Gift Shop. So as you can see, there is a very large there's a large diversity of different types of jobs that our students work at. I work at a gift shop in Pennington called uh, Sarah's Gifts. Just, uh, they sell lots of like little trinkets for like weddings and stuff. 
Uh, basically salesmen sell all the stuff, cashier, cat, count out at night, lock up. So, Fran, considering you're in the marketing class, where do you work? Um, Pennington Pharmacy, <laughs> if Pennington. How do you feel when you get that paycheck? It feels really good to spend my money like the way I want to spend it and it be mine and not my parents or whatever. And what are some of the jobs that students in your class have? Um, well, I know somebody who works in a bakery and um, other people work in gas stations and supermarkets. How does your marketing class function? Well, on Monday we come in and we have folders that Miss Venice has for us. And we write down our hours and how much we got paid for the week. And then we have deck a day. And that's when we practice for our regionals for DECA. And then the rest of the week we just do whatever Miss Ben has planned for us. Mark and Crumbs, it's nice if you want to like get into business because it teaches you how to do like stuff during the job, like safety. It just teaches you how to do business stuff if you want to get into business type deal. What do you do in class? In class, uh, like one time we got the, Mr. Brower came into class and we got to start fires and put them out with a uh, fire extinguisher so we could uh, see how to use a fire extinguisher. Uh, one time we did, like for little kids, we draw like posters and stuff for little kids. And it's pretty cool and like we do like, we have sales, we have like a little shop where we sell pencils and pens for school. It's fun. I hope you enjoyed watching our video as much as we enjoyed making it. Yeah, that was fun making. I think the best part was uh, going out and taping people working. Yeah. Up next is Joss Kirk performing this selection suite for tuba. <laughs> I enjoyed that piece. It must have taken a lot of practice to play that well. Josh is also a member of the Central Jersey Region Band. Really? I wish I knew how to play a tuba, and I wish I could sing as well as Don Lake and play as well as Mr. Corelli in their piece in the still of the night. Let's, not, let's watch that now. Okay.
Did you enjoy that song as much as I did? Yeah, I did. I'm one for a good slow song, but I'm also one for fast skiing. Up next is a project by Danny Reed, Greg McLaughlin, Kevin Driver, Macy O'Kid, Joe Maximo, and Brian Butterfoss. Here's their video on skiing. Skiing is too laid back for me. It's too slow. It's too. I got bored with skiing, so I took up snowboarding. And it's a lot better. Uh, I've been snowboarding five years. Where do you go snowboarding? Can you do more tricks? Yeah. I think you could. You know, I mean, you have more options. You have a half pipe and all. You know, free riding, you can do all kinds of other stuff. Yeah. Last week at Bell Mountain, we, we had this jump, and I sort of went off, and I, my nose sort of went to the snow. I just jammed my shoulder. So that was a pretty bad crash. Like you know, when you, when you fall in snowboarding, it's, it's a fall. Yeah, you're coming back, but you know, it's, it's pretty rare. Well, about maybe four or five years ago, my friend, my next door neighbor, decided to uh, take me skiing. And first off, I didn't want to go. And then I decided, well, sure, I'll go. So I went. And then when I got to the top of the hill, I was scared because it was uh, <sighs> it was very steep. And uh, the first time you saw it, it looked pretty scary. But after a while, you got the hang of it. Um, a helicopter and a spread eagle. They're pretty exciting when you spin around. And then you land and you don't know where you are. You could fall and break something. Equipment. Yeah, because if you like go out west and you got some crappy skis or something, you're gonna end up hurting yourself because of snow. When you're out there, you're you're skating in about a foot of powder, and if you don't got good equipment, you're just gonna lose them and lose yourself. But I've seen some people fall off of chairlifts um, up in Massachusetts. This little five-year-old kid didn't put his safety bar down, and he fell to the ground and broke his leg and his collarbone. <laughs> it's just going here, we'll give that video two, two thumbs, thumbs up. Last but not least is Hannah Waldman playing the cello.
was a nice performance. That kind of music is very relaxing. Yes, it is. Well, that was the last of our videos. We hope you enjoyed our program. And remember, don't drink and drive. Thank you for watching our show. I'm Melissa Sinclair. I'm Christine Huber. So long. Thank you.